How to Ride the Second Economic Wave of Trouble. Are you prepared for what's next? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Stock market volatility, social unrest, the next normal. Oh my word, it, it seems like we keep getting rocked every single week, doesn't it? Just last Thursday, after uh, Jerome Powell put a wet blanket on any thoughts of a V-shaped recovery, and we had that, you know, that, that massive drop in the markets, the president's administration tried to get out in front of the news cycle and say, oh, no second wave, <laughs> no second wave, no, 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 nothing here, move along. <laughs> you know, when I heard all that, it reminded me of um, a Hamlet. In which Shakespeare said, and he said, he said she, but I'll say he, uh, he doth protest too much, methinks. I mean, come on. No second wave. <laughs> All right. In this video, I'm going to talk about the second economic wave of trouble that I think is coming. And I, and I really want to get you thinking about whether you are really prepared for what's coming next. So I'm going to talk about that second wave. I'm going to talk about what you can do to prepare for it. And I'll give you some encouragement at the end. But right before I do that, I do want to give you some insights on the start of the first wave. Stuff I've read and I, I wonder if you know about. So late November um, 2019, you know, word had gotten out that there was this uh, strange illness in uh, mainland China. Something was bad and it was going on in Wuhan. Then December 15th, uh, 2019, and President Trump signed a trade bill with China. About a month later, January 16th, 2020, a trade truce was signed. But here's what you might not have known. There was an out clause, a very clever one too. One that, that, that China made sure uh, stayed in the agreement through all the you know, back and forth negotiations. It was an act of God clause. And this clause said that China didn't have to make good on what they had committed to buy uh, from the U.S. if uh, uh, this happened. <laughs> and within days after that trade truce was signed, they publicly announced the first cases of the uh, uh, illness that uh, shall not be named on YouTube. Then in March, the Chinese government issued thousands of what's called force majeure certificates to companies all across China saying that they were exempt from any contractual obligations due to the medical crisis. Hmm. You smell a rat? Did they not know this was going around the world for like months? I think so. <laughs> so let's talk about the second wave. And, and you may already know what that phrase means, but for those who don't, it, it, it refers to a historically observable scenario where an initial crisis is followed by a lull. And then it comes back, sometimes with even greater ferocity. Let me just state right now, right here, that I am utterly convinced a second wave is coming. And I'm thinking that when it does, it's going to be a haymaker to our nation. It, it may be the end game that I've been you know, dreading and, and, and prepping for. Hope not, but it could be. But I'm not primarily speaking of a medical second wave either. Now, that, that's quite possible. But I think we're just going to deal with the illness now. Like maybe we should have from the beginning, right? Now, I've described in a, uh, a prior video the three order of effects with this crisis. I'm going to run through them really quickly again for those who may have missed it earlier. Okay, so the first order effect I call the shock. That could have been any black swan event, really. It, it, it could have been a, a terrorist attack, um, a, a natural disaster, like, um, I don't know, a, a coronal mass ejection from the sun, right? Um, it could have been civil unrest. It could have been a whole host of things. It happened to be a novel medical crisis of global proportions. You see the pin? 
it's almost immaterial. It's 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 like a it's like a hypertensive, obese, diabetic driving to their dialysis treatment when suddenly they're involved in a in a head-on car crash. We weren't in any shape to recover. Savings, low debt, more self-sufficiency, less government reliance, stronger community support. These things help lubricate the grinding wheels of tragedy and shock in the past. But today, we were not prepared. And the second order effect made it worse. I call it the response. You know, (laughs) a lot of high-ranking medical experts had their day in the sun, didn't they? This was their chance to to shine on the national stage, right? The economic shutdown that we went through, fiscal stimulus, the monetary madness. All this was just ill-advised response from politicians and bureaucrats and, 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 and Keynesian crazies. But the third order effects are the most frightening. And I call that the transformation. These are the long lasting changes to American and, 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 and global societies. Government overreach, unproven economic theories experimented with, perverse ideologies proven by history to fail, tried over and over again, and the loss of our sacred American freedoms. Those are the third order effects that I fear most. Does that sound extreme? Maybe even crazy? Well, you know, Marxism was considered a crazy idea back in the 40s, the 1840s. But that didn't stop people from swallowing that lie, hook, line, and sinker. So the third order effect is the most caustic. It's a deadly threat to our way of life. But... Just like a tsunami, the destruction rarely comes in all at once, okay? So like when a tsunami comes in, it's just not usually one massive tidal wave and that's it. No, it's wave after wave after wave. We've had the first wave and another is coming. Another shock, more response, more transformations to the fabric of society. However, And hear me here, I I actually don't believe that the second wave will be just like the first. In in my opinion, I don't think we're going to shut everything down a second time. (laughs) No way. Uh Uh-uh. Can you imagine that happening again? It's possible, but I really, really don't think that is ever going to happen again. No, I I think we will accept the reality that this illness is likely to be here for the long term. And, 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 and many, if not most of us, I think, are going to have our turn fighting this sickness. I know several, personally, who are fighting it right now. But the response by our U.S. government and our central bank is going to be quite predictable, folks, especially in an election year. Get ready for our government to issue a massive second round of stimulus. Get ready for this too. Enormous tax hikes. I think they're coming. Next year, (laughs) it's going to be amazing. In fact, over the next uh, decade, I think we're going to see taxes just go through the roof. And by the way, if you qualify for that 401k hack I talked about in a recent video, uh, I'll, I'll put it right up there. Uh, consider consider doing that. Consider paying the taxes now, not later. Okay, at least that's what Yankee would do. But yeah, it, it, taxes are going to go way up. It, 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 money printing is not going to suffice. They're going to need more revenue. Price controls, wage controls. Haven't seen those in almost 50 years, but I think they're coming back. And you know what? I don't even think it matters much who's in the White House next year either. So that's the government. How about the Fed? I think the Fed is going to jack up their economic shenanigans. Rate caps on treasuries, starting on the short end, 
Doesn't go long. That's coming. Negative interest rates. Coming to a theater near you. Well, actually, that's not a really good analogy now, is it? Um, yeah, scrub the scrub the, the movie theater analogy. Okay, NERP. It's coming. I really believe it. Months away. I, I, I really believe that's coming from the Fed. And how about this? More corporate bond purchases. More junk bond purchases. Shoot, even the purchase of equities through, you know, intermediaries like, you know, BlackRock, of course, because, you know, the Fed can't do it legally yet. <laughs> so they have to sneak it in. All that's coming. This second economic wave is is going to shake us to the core, people. And the third order effects, what I call the transformation, that's going to bring in changes that our founding fathers would shudder at. Things unimaginable only a, a generation ago, like the full embrace of socialism. And that's not just pessimism, folks. Okay, that is is a healthy dose of reality. We've seen this coming for decades. Alan Greenspan, he welcomed this economic cancer in after the dot-com bust. And and mind you, he knew it was wrong. He did. He did not want to, to, to do this monetary craziness. It, it metastasized under Ben Bernanke during the global financial crisis. Don't, do you remember... Um, George Bush at the time, the famous quote, he said, you know, I've abandoned free market principles to save the free market system to make sure the economy doesn't collapse. And Jerome Powell, he signed the economic death warrant in response to the first wave of this medical crisis. At least that is what I believe. So anyway, what do we do? With this, you know, looming depression, stagflation, possible hyperinflation, what do we do to ride this second wave of economic trouble? How do we get through it? Well, number one, don't stick your head in the sand. Don't swim in denial. Stop saying everything is awesome. Read. Listen carefully to other macroeconomic YouTube channels other than mine. You know, educate yourself. Second, ease up on the market gambling, guys. Stop doubling down on bankrupt companies like Hertz, you know, in your Robinhood accounts. Realize that while the party is raging and everyone's having fun inside the casino, the Fed and your government are laying explosive charges outside around the foundation. So, be careful. And number three, you know, all but the most Pollyanna among us understand what I'm going to say here too. Prep and stack. Prep and stack. Silver and gold. Now, for those of you new to my channel, I'm going to put my uh, uh, prepping the Yankee way and stacking the Yankee way playlist at the end of this video. Many of you don't even know I have playlists. Some of you don't even know what a YouTube playlist is. I'm going to put the links at the end. And if you're, you know, an expert at this stuff, if you've got your prepping and, and, and stacking game down pat, don't waste your time on them. Really, don't watch them. But if you don't, or if you're not sure, I highly recommend that you watch them. See, guys, we can't stop the second economic wave of trouble that's coming, but we can prepare for it and we can ride that second wave. Well, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please, you know, like it. Make sure you subscribed and hit that bell. Maybe even share it because, you know, there are a lot of people, in fact, maybe the majority of people out there that need to hear this message. And uh, whatever comes, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.